We present health and safety in relation to the use of computers. In this lesson, we will discuss the causes, the symptoms, and the preventative strategies for RSI, the abbreviation for repetitive strain injury. One day, Bora woke up experiencing intense pain in her right shoulder, arm, and wrist. Her right hand and neck were also stiff. She also had pain in her upper back. She sought medical help. The doctor diagnosed her with a condition she identified as RSI. Bora had come across the condition in her computer science textbook. Bora uses her right hand and thumb to surf the internet on her smartphone. She would also bend forward to read on the screen of her smartphone. The doctor explained that RSI had been caused by excessive strain on the muscles and tendons of her right arm, and it was causing the pain. It was apparent that Bora had not taken adequate measures to prevent RSI. In this lesson, we aim to achieve the following. 1. Explain what is RSI. 2. Identify the symptoms of RSI. 3. Explain the causes of RSI. 4. Identify the appropriate strategies to prevent RSI. And, last but not the least, appreciate the importance of using computers safely. What is RSI? RSI is the abbreviation for repetitive strain injury. What are the symptoms of RSI? A patient with RSI experiences pain in a part of the body that he or she uses for repetitive tasks. The parts of the body that are often affected by RSI include the hands, wrists, arms, shoulders, neck, and upper back. What are the causes of RSI? With the increased use of computers and mobile devices, many users suffer cases of RSI. Medical doctors explain that poor posture and prolonged use of computers and smartphones cause undue strain on the hands, wrists, arms, shoulders, neck, and the back. The strain on the neck causes text neck syndrome. The overuse of the thumbs causes the text thumb syndrome. There is also the smartphone pinky syndrome. This term is used to describe the pain or discomfort that smartphone users experience in their little or pinky fingers or hands. It is caused by using a smartphone for extended periods of time without taking frequent breaks. With the knowledge about the causes of RSI, we now appreciate the importance of using computers and computing devices safely. The good news is the fact that RSI is preventable. In part 2 of this lesson, we will identify the appropriate strategies to prevent RSI.